hear it pumping? Some people have it good. Okay. Hello everybody. I hope this finds you well. Uh, I'm working on this bit here. I'm going to first by say, want to say that uh, I'm not a oil field expert. All of the stuff you were about to see is based on experience uh, in oil field related industries and knowing a lot of people in the oil field as well as studying much of the propaganda the oil industry puts out themselves they they make some pretty good uh, animations you gotta go check some of them out about the subject of fracking and there are quite a few videos out there about oil field work you just have to search for them but uh, this right here is about the fracking that is going on um, in my area down around uh, south of here, down around a city called Cheyenne, there's a place called the Black Cattle National Forest, or National Grasslands, it's grassland. Wildlife area, and there's a pack saddle wildlife refuge there. All of it's being fracked as we speak. Now I'm torn about this issue because it is a large source of income and employment in this area. However, I see it as a form of rape to the earth to keep uh, these machines running. And there are much better ways that the oil industry will not let us have. Most likely these are economic reasons. You decide. Let's get a conversation about it. So, uh, while you're watching this video, keep in mind that I did this animation myself just the last couple of days, playing with my paint programs. I am not, I'm not a high-paid animation artist with a high-running fancy computer program uh, like the ones they use. So, uh, I hope you enjoy. Here you go. I said the other day in the chat, talking about fracking of Black Kettle National Grasslands. I think you do a satellite image here. You know, keep in mind, this satellite image is almost a year old. Look how green it is there. It's almost a year old. Let's zoom down in here. There's a wellhead location. There's tanks. I'm going out here. These are all over the place now. But keep in mind, this is a year ago. Uh, they've been drilling and fracking like crazy since. I believe you can check out the rig count uh, somewhere. See if I can find that. Look here, all these little squares. These little patches out here. Those are all wellheads. They drilled down into the shell. They pick the zone because it's on top of that shell deposit. You can almost see where the shell deposit goes by, by following where the wells are. And you see there's a lot out here that's that's not showing here now, that's there now. Black Kettle National Grasslands. Nice way to run a national grassland. Show you kind of what's under the ground here. See the water table is around from the surface to 600 feet down. Some of that, most of it around here is like 200 feet down. Anything lower is usually brackish or uh, has that uh, jip in it, jip, jippy water. So now you go on down, you have these small cracks and fractures that you don't really see. They're small, tiny fractures. That in the bedrock and stuff. Well, that's where all the material gets down in here. That what they're looking for is a pool, the place where uh, where all this oil would pool. Originally, that's where they find it was a shell layer. Well, how'd they find where to drill, where the shell layer was? Well, he's a seismograph. 
the other day there was someone arguing that they used uh, they had to date the rocks to know where the oil was. Well, that's, that was bull crap. You, you don't date rocks to find where the oil is. You use a seismograph. There is a regular drilling well. So now let's take a little adventure underground with the drill bit. They drill down. They always go down below the water level, the water table, and then they install special casing just to keep the any of that from getting into the water. And they go back down in smaller bits and drill deeper and deeper. And they do this several times, change, pull a bit up and run casing down. And they get down here to the bottom, down to that shell. Originally they tried to hit that oil. So what they're looking for is that oil. Well, they hit that oil, that was the dangerous part. That's where the blowouts were. They used to, they just vent off the gas and burn it off. Now they trap it, but this is how they used to do it. They'd vent that gas off, and then they'd pump that oil out. And they'd sit there and they'd just have that pump machine going to pump that oil on out. Well, they got to a point where they weren't getting much out of that well, so they fill that up with some fluid and into the soak it out of the rocks and get more pressure in there and they pump all that out and it gets a little bit more out well now the well's not producing but they think well there's this is how they used to do it they drop a shot down there usually nitroglycerin or something then it'd crack the rock around then they'd pour more fluid in there and try to get that try to get that gas and oil out of that rock that had some, Side, bad side effects. They don't do that anymore because of, most of the wells would just cave in. They just simply lose lose the well. They plug up, so they just lose the well. But if it worked, they pour all that fluid back in, keep the pressure under the ground there, right? And then they seal it up. And today they do it a little bit different. Now they got this thing called directional drilling, where they go down in the ground and turn, and down in that shell layer and turn. They'll follow that shell there with their with their line. Go on down in there and then they'll run a special casing. After they pull that out, they'll, they'll run a special casing down in there in that shell layer. There. And they'll run a shot down there. And poof. Crack fracture that rock. In that shell and they send the fluids in and all this fluid then all the sand and stuff to keep the cracks open and stuff and all these other fluids to leach the gasoline out or the gas now this is one of the things that they say is what to use protecting you keeping it from leaking out and polluting the water and stuff there's a double lining filled with concrete but through the layers that would hit the water. They, they do this quite a ways down. Now then, to drill this well, they, they have to pump water into the into the well head, into the drill head. This helps uh, to push the tailings back up the pipe. It gets rid of the tailings. Well, this goes on. You might have heard some oil guys talking about losing circulation. That's what they're talking about. If, they, if something plugs up and the water's not flowing. 